Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we are making a bride fairy doll. This is a doll I've had a lot of requests for. I think she turned out so beautiful, and with it being June and wedding season, I thought this would be a really fun tutorial to do right now. So let's grab some supplies and get started. The first thing you'll need is a fairy doll. To learn how to make a fairy doll, please click on the video in the upper right hand corner. It will take you to a tutorial where I go through very simple step-by-step -step instructions on how to twist together a fairy doll. Then you'll need some white flowers and I had a lot of fun picking different white flowers out. I looked for some that were longer and um, more full like a fancy ball gown type of bridal dress, um, some that were more frilly and there were just a lot of different choices. You want to make sure that you don't get one that has a lot of glue holding the petals together. Then I grabbed some tool, and this is kind of an off-white shimmery tool. You can also do this out of lace. This is a really pretty lace I found at Hobby Lobby. And you'll need a needle and, a th and some thread, and I'm using white thread to match the tool. Something to measure with. And then different things to embellish your bride. So this is some lace I bought by the yard and it was really pretty with sequins on it. I have some iridescent glitter which I love to use in any project that I can. And then I found these silk flowers. They're kind of um, plasticky and they formed into a really pretty wreath I thought we could put on our bride's head. Or I've also used some sequins and these peel off. I found these at the dollar store and I used a little section of these. So just anything sparkly and pretty that you would like to add to your bride. And then I have my glue gun set on low. A sharp pair of scissors. And that's it. So the first step is to pick whichever white flower you've chosen and dress your fairy doll. So like I said, I wanted one that was long and flowing and this is fun because you can actually do it to match a specific wedding dress if you'd like. And there are all sorts of silk flowers out there. So like I said, um, make sure that when you pick one out you don't get one that's glued together a lot. Sometimes they will glue the petals together so much that it's hard to pull them apart. And then just dress your doll. And to learn how to do this you can click on the video in the upper left hand corner there. And click on the actual video and it will take you to a link on how to dress your fairy doll. Then I'm going to start decorating her dress. So I'm taking this really pretty lace that has sequins and pearls and you can see it's sewn on the back so be careful when you're trimming it off that you don't cut any of the pieces that are holding the pearls on. And I just cut out a couple of the shapes and laid some glue on it. Decided where I wanted to place those on her, on the petal skirt, and tacked it down. And then you can go back and glue it down some more once you kind of have it where you'd like it. And it was really a lot of fun figuring out different ways to decorate these pretty little brides. And then I decided she needed some more glitter and so I'm going to take my iridescent glitter and using my glue gun I'm just going to kind of dab some glue here and there and sprinkle the glitter right over her skirt and you can see I have a piece of paper right underneath to catch the extra glitter because I'll pour that back and use it for another project and I'm just going all around and dabbing the glue in different spots. You could also use Mod Podge or any other type of craft glue for that part but it just added a little bling and depth to her skirt. Okay, now we're going to make the veil, probably the most important part. So I am measuring a 10 inch piece of tulle, and then my tulle measured six inches wide, so my piece is 10 inches by six inches. And then I'm gonna fold it in half and just round off the corner. So I folded it in half lengthwise. and round it off those corners. And now I'm going to do a running stitch along the top. So I kind of secure my thread and then just go back and forth in and out through the fabric and just do a gathering stitch right along the top. We're just gathering that tool together. When you get to the end, I loosen it up just a little bit to give it the shape of a veil and then I'm going to 
take my needle back through, create a knot to secure the thread, and we've just created a little veil. And then I hold it up to my doll to make sure it's the shape that I want. And you could attach that directly to your doll, or I'm going to take this little piece of the flowers that I found and cut off a length that will fit around my little doll's head to give her a little wreath on her head out of flowers. So I'm matching up the ends. I also think that this would work really well with some pearl trim or some beaded trim. And then I didn't, un I didn't cut off my thread when I finished gathering it. So I still had that piece of thread hanging off of my veil and I'm going to attach my little wreath directly to my tool. So I'm just looping it back and forth a few times. If you would rather trim off the thread and just glue the wreath onto the, the tool, you could do that also. But I found that just running the thread back and forth a few times from the tool to the wreath held it in place nicely. And then tie a knot in the end, trim off the end of your thread and that's it guys. You are all set. You have a beautiful, beautiful romantic bride for wedding season. Here is one that I made using the lace and you can see that there are just so many different variations you can do with this to match any type of wedding dress and she was a lot of fun to make. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone that gave me this wonderful suggestion. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. If you liked this tutorial, give it a big thumbs up and leave me a lovely comment below. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks.